Hey everyone, welcome back. So today I have a different type of video for you. I don't know, if I've, I've mentioned it in some different Friday loves and here and there monthly favorites, but I am a wine drinker and I love my wine. So I thought, why not share my favorites with you? I mean, a lot of these are things you can get at mass market in your local liquor store or online or anything like that. So I have five wines here that I go to. They are my go-to wines. I always have them in in stock downstairs. So let's just jump right on into it. Um, the first one here came by recommendation from my friend Kristen Game. She said she loves this wine and I and she was describing what types of wine she likes and I said you sound like my woman. I am going to go and try that wine and it is nothing short of fabulous. It is the 14 Hands Cabernet Sauvignon. I struggle with that word. Um, 2012. This is delicious. I actually have the description here. It has aromas of blueberries and black currants with subtle hints of dried herbs and spice. Dark stone fruit flavors are complemented by a touch of cocoa and accentuated by fine velvety tannins. Tannins is like, um, I like fine velvety tannins. I do not like a dry tannin. Tannin is like when you take a drink and you can kind of feel like, like cotton mouth, like there's something stuck in your mouth. That's when it's the tannin is very like strong and not soft and subtle. It's like bam, dry cotton mouth. I personally do not care for that type of flavor. This is beautiful. It paired beautifully with different types of meats and pastas. I also can drink this on its own. I like things that are very smooth and fruit forward with a little bit of cocoa and that's what this is. This is more blueberry and blackberry like fruit for forward but then you get a hint of cocoa on the end but yet it has a very smooth soft finish so I loved this. The next one I have here I had picked up when I was at the liquor store and I, I've tried it a few times in the past but I had honestly forgotten what it even tasted like. And it's the Dancing Bull Merlot. I love a good Merlot. I just find that Merlot is one of those easy drinking red wines. It's just very soft and flavorful. Um, this particular one has a rich texture plus flavors of black cherry and blackberry. Um, it's a bold red that pairs well with barbecue or with dinner. Um, it has layers of milk, chocolate, and vanilla framed by a luscious, velvety mouthful. Yes, it's delicious. It goes from everything from pasta to tenderloin to grilled lamb, it says. Consider it your go-to wine. Yes, this is a very easy drinking, smooth, flavorful red wine. I love this one. Um, very easy drinking as well. All right, so I've saved the last three here. These are my top three of life. So let's start out with this one. I just love this brand in general because it's cute. It's the Middle Sister brand. There's like the Rebel Red, which is this one. This is the California Red Table Wine. As you can see a theme here, I love my red wines. Um, so this one is considered to be like the spunky yet sassy and sweet Middle Sister. I'm not a middle sister, but I kind of consider myself like that description. Um, I am the only sister and the oldest. So, anyways. <laughs> the middle sister. Okay, so this is a blend. This is a blend of Zinfandel, Merlot, Cabernet, Syrah, 38, it's mostly Zinfandel. 38% Zinfandel, 34% Merlot. This is so amazingly delicious. If you are not a red wine drinker, but you want to start out drinking red wine, I would put you, give you a glass of this. These other two are definitely for your avid red wine drinkers. They're going to be a little bit more, what I say as like dry, they just have a little bit more of like that wine flavor, whereas this is a lot more sweet. I think I just, where this is just a little bit more sweet. Now, the um, smells of this. It has red, ripe, and dark berry fruits like plum, blueberry, and blackberry. It has a dash of black and white pepper with a dollop of creme de cassis. I'm not sure what that means. But here's what matters. It tastes like a mouthful of sweet, ripened summer berries. It's delicious. Um, it's a very luxurious, fruity finish, just straight berry flavor is what you're going to get here. This goes with everything. Salmon, burgers, seafood dark chocolate candy bar, chocolate cake. Um, this is like your everything, easy drinking, go-to fruity wine. Love it. All right, so if there could be a holy grail wine in the red and white version, this is my holy grail wine. 
Um, I'm going to show you the white one first. It is summer. I love a good crisp glass of white wine. This is the Apothic White. Now this is also a blend as well. This is Chardonnay, Riesling, and Moscato. So it's crisp, it's luscious, it's sweet. It has peach, pineapple, honey, and vanilla spice in it. It is amazing. It's, it's your afternoon sitting out on the porch, crisp glass of white wine. It's sweet, it's not too dry, but it's just crisp enough to really hit that spot when you're melting in the humidity on your front porch. I love this wine. I always have this on hand, especially for my friends that don't really like red wine. I give them a glass of this and they are like, wow, that's so delicious because it's sweet, but yet it still has that wine flavor. So I love this. And last, it is my holy grail favorite wine of life that I've tried thus far. Keep in mind, I will be sharing with you more wines in the future, um, but this, up to this point, this is what I have tried and love. Okay, so the Apothic Red is my Holy Grail <laughs> red wine. Um, this is also a blend. It's a blend of Zinfandel, Syrah, Cabernet, and Merlot. And uh, it has intense fruit aromas of rhubarb and black cherry, hints of mocha, chocolate, brown spice, and vanilla. It has a very luxurious feel in, in, in the mouth as you swallow it. It doesn't have that sharp, dry feel. It's very smooth and it's a very full-bodied flavor of chocolate and berries and just, it's amazing guys. It's absolutely amazing. Highly recommend the Apothic Red. Love this wine. So I really enjoy sampling different wines. I'm going to probably do this again in the future. Let me know if you enjoyed this or if you have any recommendations for me. Um, I also, a side note, wanted to let you know I'm part of a wine club. It's a monthly wine club. It's called Club W. And I will leave the link below. If you are interested in getting your first bottle for free, just enter the code Chelsea G, and you will get your first bottle for free. I love the wine club because I don't have to bring my kids or my family to the liquor store. It's delivered to my doorstep every single month. You take a quiz and based upon... Um, your flavor profile, what types of wines you like, whether it be red, whether it be white, they give you suggestions. And then you can either take those suggestions or pick something else. And I'm thoroughly enjoying this wine club. It's a fabulous way to stock up your wine, or if you're gonna be having unexpected guests, you will always have the wine delivered to your doorstep. So I love that. I'm gonna be sharing, you, sharing with you some wines from that whole experience as well. So like I said, if you're interested, head on over to there and get your first bottle for free because that's how I got started and I love my wine and my husband likes wine and it's just a great, you know, if, you, if you're going over to someone's house, it's just a nice little housewarming gift too if, if they drink, indeed drink wine. Um, you can also cook with it as well. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I thoroughly enjoyed sharing these types of things with you. I like to incorporate lifestyle things and fitness things and beauty things and all kinds of things with, with you guys on my channel. So if you enjoyed this, let me know down below. And like I said, let me know some of your favorite wines. Um, maybe what some red recommendations or some white, um, I need to delve more into the white wine um, arena. Let me know what some of your favorites are down below. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. Also, side note, another side note, if you like this look, um, there is a get ready with me uh, video for this and you can go check that out down below. So I hope you guys have a fabulous day and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.